Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Odin Wright's Shit. Today I kind of have a twofer for you guys. Um, I want to be testing out the Sailor Yamadori that I got from Jet Pens a while ago. Um, and I decided to fill up my Dilly Pen because of reasons. Um, well, I wasn't really impressed with the, um, the Fountain Pen Revolution pens that I had purchased a while ago. Uh, everybody was telling me to try out the Diddy because it's amazing, and yes, but we'll see how that goes. I also wanted to compare this ink to um, to Emerald of Shavor because it's got a very similar tone and a very similar behavior. A lot of swatches that I've seen online that people made, they have like a similar behavior where it turns into this red patina. So I kind of want to see if these are dupes of each other. But anyway, Yamadori, or Copper Pheasant in English, is part of the Sailor Four Seasons series. Can we just really appreciate this box? It is so pretty. Just look at that. Look at the pastel, soft, wintry bits. I love it. It's so cute. Which, this is $20 for 50 mils, which isn't bad at all, compared to, like, the $30 for about the same, I believe. Yeah, 50 mils in the Emerald of Shavor. So you get, okay, you save a bit, 10 bucks, so I was kind of off. But anyway, you open this stuff up, and of course it has the sticker of the color on it. And look at that, just look at that. Look at how cute that is. Ugh. Anyway, comes a very lovely glass bottle. Very clean lines, and I really enjoy this aesthetic. It's very pretty. The label, however, is not sticking very nicely. It's kind of got some bubbles, but hey. That is just a very, very pretty bottle. And a very nice display piece. Solid glass, of course. This one does not have any silt or any, like, gold pigments or mica or things like that. So, so when it does its little thing, there is no silt getting into your pens and stuff, which is nice. All right, let us try this out. Very dark teal. But if you write a little fast, I just filled this, so it's a little on the darker side, but once you work it out a little bit, turn into a lovely shade of emerald green. Very, very pretty. Now let's give that a little bit to dry. If you take a look at it. Then let us compare this to the Emerald of Shavor. It does have a little bit more of a green tone instead of a blue, but the color is pretty unmistakable. Of course, it has these signature sparkles. I have it all over my hands. Never fails! So those are the two together, and you can kind of tell the emerald is obviously a little lighter and uh, more of a green toned color, whereas the Yamadori is about... A shade darker and more on the blue tone, especially with the little scribbles there. Um, the emerald has the little sparkly bits. It's kind of hard to see because this one is a fine point pen, but there on the edges of this one, there's a lot of a darker, almost reddish hue going on. And I tried to play with it a little bit before I started. It shows a lot better on ink, on juicier pens, obviously, but there's a little bit of a reddish hue on the edges of your drawings, and I will try to illustrate that after we do the water test. So speaking of, let us do the water test, which I don't have high hopes for at all. Just putting that out there. Alright. Nope, nope. Absolutely not. Nope, 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 nope. And we all know about that one. But you do see the color uh, representation a bit better, which is kind of nice. 
So let's see if we can get some effects showing up. And just for comparison's sake, let's swatch it next to the emerald. So sparkly! I love it! Oh god. While I am waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go back on to reviewing the Dilly Pen, just some of my first impressions writing on this. Um, sad to say, I still don't like this. Um, the nib is a fine point, which is totally fine. I'm not, you know, I have a, um, I prefer mediums, but I like fines for once in a while. But, uh, this nib catches on the, on the paper so easily, and I am just constantly picking out fibers. I don't like that. Um, the plastic is okay. It's it's made of vegetal resin, so it still has that smell, but it's finally um, aired out enough so that it doesn't smell anymore because I don't like the resin stuff. Um, but this plastic is, is not too bad. Um, it does screw off like that. The clip is pretty reasonably... It's a little on the bendy side, but it's reasonably secure. Um, like Even though this is a low point price, uh, low price point pen, um, and it's good for the price, However, I'm paying pretty much the same or even less for Jin Hao's, and the quality is a lot better. So, in my personal preference, I prefer Jin Hao's over these. But, I mean, I do invite you to try them. Feel free to let me know what your impressions are of this one. Um, I'll probably keep it around just because, you know, I like the red and the color's cool and stuff. But it's also not very comfortable. It's a little short for me. And this does not post very well at all. Eek. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear this, but it goes through if... In order to make this secure, it goes through the little threads of the screw, which is not good at all. Because, like, it doesn't post right now unless I force it through, which you... Let's take a listen. Yeah. I have just gone through all of the threads of this piece, and I don't think that's good for the mechanism. So, I probably... I won't be using this very often. But that being said, I'm probably going to take these two inks and test it for my uh, ink revisits for this month, which, which if you haven't seen last month's ink revisits, I will provide links for that. And yeah. So you can kind of see on some of the edges here of the Yamadori, it has more of a red, deep patina, as if it like got oversaturated, but it looks really cool like that, and it kind of just borders your edges. Um, and the emerald obviously has all the glittery, sparkly bits and such. But yeah, I really, really, really enjoy this ink. It's a really nifty, very beautiful color. Um, but anyway, it's a very, very beautiful ink. I really enjoy it, and I kind of, and I highly recommend that you guys try it out. Um, yeah, have you guys tried any of the other Sailor uh, Four Season series? Let me know what your impressions are. And of course, if there's anything that I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time. I got a fingerprint on the box!